Um, welcome everyone. My name is Kim. I am the flutist for the Quintet of the Americas. Thank you so much for being here. We're very excited to be here in this very beautiful venue on this um, chilly but sunny day. Um, this is actually our last concert of 2022 as well, so we are very, very happy to be here. Um, the first piece on our program is by a composer named James Cone. Um, he actually lived in Douglas and Queens for a good portion of his life. Um, his works have been featured um, at the Kennedy Center and the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., and he actually has written many pieces for our quintet. Uh, the first piece that we're going to play on the program is from his piece titled Fiesta Latina. We are actually going to be playing one movement of Fiesta Latina for you today. Right, enjoy. <laughs> It's kind of an unusual chamber music group. We've been together for a long time. I joined in 1981. The group was formed in South America in the late 70s, came back to New York, and reestablished ourselves. One thing that we are is a tax-exempt 501c arts organization. So the programs that you get to see and hear are us as a business uh, commissioning music very often. And the pieces you're going to hear today were all written for us, or at least associated strongly with us. Um, the first piece was one of those pieces. Uh, James, is, Mr. Cohn was a resident of Queens, dear, dear friend, died in the last year or so, a wonderful man and a terrific composer who we champion. Um, the next piece on our program mm -hmm. is called Winter Music, and I think it paints a very beautiful picture <coughs> of winter. Uh, now, the way I see it and feel it is that kind of, you can feel the wind in this piece because it's a, it, for me there's a drifting snow and a beautiful both calm and life to it that is really wonderful. So even though winter can be dark, this piece I think is quite light. Winter Music by Adam Schoenberg. Thank you. 
so many, so many familiar faces. I recognize some from the last time we played. It truly is one of our favorite places, not only because of you all, but also we sound good in here. We've got a <laughs> wonderful acoustic, so it's really nice to hear each other and finally hear our sounds. The next piece we're going to play is by this awesome composer named Carlos Francetti. Carlos Francetti was from Buenos Aires, Argentina, and he was multifaceted. He was a composer, a conductor, and actually came to the United States first um, doing salsa bands. He was actually writing for salsa bands and helping them. Eventually went to Juilliard, started conducting, and a lot of his pieces have been played with really world-renowned orchestras and ensembles, including ours. Um, and so the next piece we're going to play for you is one of his favorites and one of our favorites, which is called Serenata, which also translates to serenade. So we hope you enjoy Carlos Francetti's Serenade.
afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is David Valbuena, and I am the clarinetist of the Quintet of the Americas. Uh, again, I will reiterate how excited we are to be playing here today. Love this venue, uh, love this beautiful audience that we have here today. Uh, the next piece that we're going to play is actually going to feature two new instruments. Uh, so we're going to have, I'll start first with mine. We have this guy over here, which is the bass clarinet. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about this instrument before uh, we play this. So the bass clarinet is kind of like a clarinet in, in terms that it has the same fingerings and it has a single reed, um, but it's bigger and it plays lower notes. So I'll give you a little sample of this. So the clarinet will play in terms of its low range, play something around here. <laughs> more lower and thank you thank you so much it's not me it's the instrument um, it's yeah it's much lower and it has this much uh, more deeper sound um, however in this piece the instrument actually plays in an entire range uh, you're not going to hear it get that low actually at all in the entire piece and it'll sound something like this the next instrument that we have here is the uh, English horn which Matt is going to give you some so the, the English horn is the larger version of the oboe, which is sitting right here next to me. This particular one is, is made out of violet wood, uh, kind of a rare wood from Africa. So you know, though, however, these, re these woods are grown commercially. So people aren't going out to the woods and chopping them down. They're grown commercially <laughs> and then handed over to people like me. Uh, the cor anglais, or English horn, is actually a mistranslation of the, the French term for the instrument, cor anglais which means horn that is angled, or angled horn. So mistranslated as English horn, actually French horn is actually English. There's, there's a whole history. <laughs> uh, so, but we're here to just play them. But I think the history of these things is kind of interesting too. And the other thing that, that we have both in common and not in common is that the oboe and the English horn are double reeds as well as the bassoon. So clarinet is single reed. Double reeds are, we tie them together. This is to put it very simply, in fact. But we tie it together, clip them off, uh, thin it so it'll vibrate. Now, actually, I, I work quite hard to get that crazy sound. <laughs> so, uh, but when you put it onto uh, this rare wood, so. Uh, you hear it a lot. When, when, there's a, when I get a call and it said uh, there's also an English horn part, you can almost count on the fact that there's a solo. They don't just put it in there without featuring the instrument someplace. Mm -hmm. So you probably heard it a lot. Um, but it makes, the, it changes the color of the quintet to a, a, a kind of darker, richer sound, if you will. Rather than a violin, this is, becomes a viola or mm -hmm. upper cello. Mm -hmm. And the same with the bass clarinet. The clarinet is a, a top voice, but with the bass clarinet, it becomes darker and deeper. Okay, tango for a cold winter day. <laughs>
So for this next piece, I would like to introduce the composer of our next piece, which is Perry Maurer. Okay, thank you everybody. It's a pleasure to be here today. And it was a pleasure to compose this piece for this wonderful ensemble. Now the first thing that inspires me, that had inspired me to compose this particular piece, this is a wind quintet. I live in Manhattan on 10th Avenue, which is close to the river. You walk out the door of my building and it's wind. I mean, in like every shape and form, strong and then it'll stop for a second to be a gentle breeze, then it'll come and swirl and I mean, and there's no way around it. You know, obviously, to get out of the building, you have to exit, right? <laughs> so you, you, know, you develop a relationship with the wind, and it's something that's talked about a lot amongst the people in the building. Oh, the wind today, the wind today. And I've lost many a hat, which is just blown <laughs> right into the street immediately. Once a neighbor came out and the traffic was not coming, so he was kind enough to retrieve this particular hat, which was my favorite, which uh, unfortunately about a year later did get <laughs> swept away by the wind. So that was my inspiration and I was very excited to work with these wonderful <coughs> people and compose this piece for you and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you everybody.
from a Charlie Brown Christmas. Oh. We're keep, I know, I know, I know, it's amazing. My family always watched Charlie Brown specials whenever I was growing up. Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas. Halloween's my favorite. I love the, I got a roll. Um, this is such a popular album. It actually went triple platinum and sold over three million copies. And so in 2007, it made it into the Grammy Hall of Fame like it deserves to. And clearly it's amazing because we're playing it today. So I hope you enjoy <laughs> Skating by Vince Guaraldi. Thank you. 
was, was one of the touring groups for Columbia Artist Management. And we went all over the country. We would be gone for a couple tours a year, 30 days out at a time, concert every night, mm -hmm. audiences of 300 people at least. Um, it was really the heyday of touring, touring artists. And the, we met a man named Edgar Colon Hernandez who wrote the program notes for all of the groups going out for Columbia Artists. So he was writing the program notes for our concerts. Years later, I was playing in the orchestra for the Gay Men's Chorus concert. And Edgar was in the chorus and he was doing arrangements for the chorus. And I said, Edgar, you know, your, your arrangements are so beautiful. Would you do some for the quintet? And he did. And we have three of them on the program today. So this is a fantasy on a Puerto Rican Christmas carol, the one you're going to hear next, Alegria. Inside of it, yeah, I don't know if you're familiar mm -hmm. with the Dies Irae theme. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that has been used throughout the ages in religious music and borrowed for secular music. And you will hear that embedded in here. I think Matt had, you have it, right? Mm -hmm. Alex at one point and I have it. So enjoy this one. Alegria. Thank you. 
piece on the program um, is by James Cohn, who is the composer that we began our program with. Um, he has, as I mentioned earlier, he's written a lot of works for the quintet. Um, and as Alex mentioned, we are seeing a lot of familiar faces in the audience. So if you were at our last concert in the spring, you probably heard um, the piece Klezmer Fantasy. Um, Klezmer Fantasy, you're, this piece is called Dance of Praise, but you are going to hear some elements of Klezmer Fantasy, so it may feel a bit familiar. So enjoy. different than the bass clarinet. It's like actually the polar opposite. So if the bass clarinet is the large, this would be the small, and the clarinet would be the medium. So this is the E-flat clarinet. And um, in the same relationship that the bass clarinet is larger plays lower, the E-flat clarinet is smaller and will play higher. Um, I will give you a little sample of what that high stuff will sound like. Um, something like this. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty piercing. I know everybody covers their ears. <laughs> um, in this piece, actually, uh, this piece is Procession Hibara, by also by also by Edgar Colon Hernandez. Um, he actually doesn't use the E flat clarinet in that high register, so don't worry. Um, it's in, it's actually in the lower register, and kind of gives the wind the wind quintet the sound of like a small village band. And this word Hibara means uh, it would be somebody from Puerto Rico who lives off the land, who was like a farmer, somebody who's uh, you know like a village person. But it's, it's an interesting word, I'll talk a little bit about it. It's an interesting word because um, there's also a salsa musician, uh, Willie Colon, who has a couple salsa songs where he says, Hibara, Hibara, so, you know, referring to people from, from Puerto Rico, the country people of Puerto Rico. And it's also a term that he used to, um, I guess, to connect with his culture. He was born in the Bronx. It's, do you, it's a word that he used to connect with his culture, creating music here in the United States. Um, that word is also really, um, connected to Christmas music. So I think Biancicos, which is what the, this kind of music that we're playing. Um, so I think it's really interesting that we have this connection here between the culture and Christmas time. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoy Procesión Hibara. <laughs>
Jackson Heights Library where the floor was carpeted. <laughs> so it was, you know. <laughs> yeah, and back in the 80s, I guess it was, we were doing uh, children's programs for Queen Symphony Orchestra. And the person who was the educational director got us together, uh, all the people who were from all the groups, to meet and decide what we're going to do and make planning and see if we could collaborate. And this wonderful artist, Karen Fitzgerald, is in the audience today. Karen, please. <laughs> Karen is a fabulous visual artist. What is your website, Karen? Fitzgerald. Take your mask down for a second. Okay. Fitzgerald Art. Okay, Fitzgerald, F-I-T-Z-G-E-R-A-L-D, art, dot com. 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 Please go to her site and look at her gorgeous art. A lot of spheres, just magnificent. A terrific spirit, an extremely creative person, and we are forever grateful to you, Karen, for bringing us together with Carl Maltzby. Carl's an African-American composer, conductor, organist, <coughs> now located in Orlando, Florida, works in a very large church down there, continually very active with composing and a lot of organizations. He was here in New York at the time and up till not that long ago, conducting a choral group called uh, Rejoice Ensemble. Ah, amazing, it came to my mind. Um, uh, Music of the African Diaspora, a choral group. And Carl wrote many pieces for us over the years. Um, he was involved in our memory project, which is a fantastic project where we meet with a composer in, in a senior center and we interview the seniors and talk to them about what are their musical memories or what are their lives about. And the composer is there and he takes notes and he takes their experiences back and composes a piece in, with that inspiration. And we've done, I don't know, six or seven of those. Carl was one of the early ones with Elmcourt Senior Center. He also has written um, a big piece called The Journey with Narrator and Percussion, which is about coming over uh, the slaves on the boats. And, and it's a big three movement work. Um, I, I don't know, there, there are even more pieces he wrote for us. So uh, again, thank you, Karen, for connecting us. <laughs> This is the first piece he wrote for us, and it was for us to play in the schools. And it's called Still Rockin' in Jerusalem, which combines, <laughs> <laughs> right? Still Rockin', um, gospel with salsa. So I think you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
So in this next piece, Edgar put together two villancicos from Puerto Rico, two carols, and this one is called um, Come Shepherds to Bethlehem. That's the English translation. on the program um, is called Festive Sounds of Hanukkah. So, so for our audience members and our friends in the audience that celebrate Hanukkah, this is for you. Um, and also, if you do not celebrate Hanukkah, you're most likely going to recognize a lot of the tunes in this. This is kind of like a, a medley of a lot of different very popular um, Hanukkah songs. The first one being My Gradle. So enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, no uh, winter celebration to be complete without sleigh wreck. And so, we have two to play for you. One by the old man Mozart, and one by the young man Mozart. They both wrote the sleigh wreck uh, pieces, sleigh pieces. And of course, that was a method of transportation that was very serious in those days. And one way to keep the horses trotting along was to attach sleigh bells. Both that's kind of here we come, we're on our way, and the energy projected by them. So um, now we come to the moment of talent combined with bravery. We need a player for the sleigh ride. Two, 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 players. two players. Oh, we're going to use two players. Okay, so it's a duet on bells. Uh, now I, uh, someone has to be at the front of the horse, and someone has to be at the back. You got a volunteer, Mark? I got one already. You're going to hold on to this and shake gently. But we need another person. There's another one. There's another song. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We want you to stand a little farther over so that she can see it. Yeah, they're heavy. You know, we did this in some senior centers, um, and, and we had all the repeats in the piece. And by the time we got to the end of the first piece, these, these seniors were like, you know, it's, it's, they're heavy. They are heavy. Um, so you get the sun, okay. and you just shake gently while it's yeah. They're loud. Yeah. So, if you look back, I can give you. Sometimes I can or David. Yeah. Give you a clue. Yeah. But there's no mistake. Just enjoy yourself. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. So face the audience. Thank <laughs> you. 
need for horses. Yes. My mother collected bells, and one, one year my sister found these in a barn out in Ohio. I'm from Ohio. My mother was in Ohio. And my sister bought these and gave them to my mother. And now I'm the proud owner of these, because, especially because we can take them to concerts and have people play with us. So is this the real deal? And they're, they're antiques now. They're very old, and, and the leather is getting cracked on them. So um, there are two people here who are very special to the quintet. And I am going to introduce them and draft them into performing with us. <laughs> One of them is looking away like he's pretending like he's not here. Dan Morino, would you please oh. come forward? <laughs> Dan Morino um, was a uh, while back the president of the Rockaway Artist Alliance and arranged for many concerts for us and has been a fantastic supporter over all these years. Dan, yes, thank you so much. Thank and you. your present is that you get to stand on one end of the I get to stand on the other. And across. the other person folds and then <laughs> you go over there. That side, okay. Okay, thank you so much. And the other person is Mr. Kenichi Wilson, who's sitting back here hiding. Fantastic. <laughs> He's moved up. Um, yeah. <laughs> and Penny is the president of the Queen Symphony Orchestra, which I am mad and I remember. And Penny also got us into this location uh, the first time we played here and has been a tremendous supporter. And Penny is the guy behind the scenes who has the trucks and brings all the equipment to all the con all of the concerts in the New York metropolitan area and where were you in Florida and you were I mean, he's expanded, he was a Yeah, he does all of that, but his father is a percussionist with the Queen Symphony, uh, Dave Wilson, but Kenny never gets to play, so I thought today. I, I have nightmares about this. Today. <laughs> I can't read music. Yeah. Today is your day. Okay. That's the bell music. That's really and hard to read. Really <laughs> now, Dan is a musician. Dan plays guitar and sings, so he'll help so you out. So lead, right? I'll sing and you just pull this. the bell. <laughs> this sleigh ride by It'll Mozart, work. The, the, the younger, Wolfgang, is in three. It's like yeah, a waltz, so have fun. Yeah. Okay. As long as you hit the main beat. <laughs> just tell me what's okay. That's just like my dad. We're just going to jingle. <laughs> This really yeah. takes some bells to do this. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to go, you tell me when to stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as they stop. Ready? Are you helping? Start when you get back.